Later that day, Duck shunted Golden's coaches in the station platform, ready for the big engine to take the afternoon express to carry all the hard-working passengers from their places of work to their homes across the island. Much like Henry stopping at the junction to see Thomas, Duck shunted Gordon's coaches every day to ensure that he could keep a close eye on Gordon, too. Duck waited and waited, but Gordon wouldn't come. The clock says one after five, Duck said. Where is Gordon? Henry, Donald, and Douglas looked from afar. Come on, Gordon, Henry said under his breath. Finally, Gordon's whistle could be heard from the yards. Trucks! Trucks! Gordon sputtered. The engine sighed in relief and laughed. I don't know how Percy makes them behave so well, but I can't stand them. And now I'll have to make up for lost time. Maybe if you scrap your tender and paint yourself green, they won't give you so much trouble, Gordon. Ha! <laughs> Trucks are for silly tank engines, not big strong engines like me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an express to pull. Come on, come on, come on, Gordon said to his coaches. Gordon gave a long whistle and was out of sight. See you soon, Duck whistled in return. I see Gordon is off with the express. That's good. I'll help you shunt the rest of these trucks and then we'll get a well-deserved rest. The engines worked hard for the rest of the afternoon and returned to the sheds. The day had been long and difficult. The two engines were exhausted and failed to sleep at once.